Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to install Nginx Proxy Manager. Nginx Proxy Manager is a reverse proxy server that sits between the client and the server. And this server could be a web server and it forwards requests from the client to the server. When you have maybe like a cloud hosting space, you can use Nginx Proxy Manager to forward requests that are coming to different containers. So you use that proxy manager to forward requests to the container where they should be forwarded. So we are going to set up that as well. Although we are going to use the command line interface to install Nginx proxy manager on our Docker containers, that will be the only session where we are going to use the CLI. From there, we are going to use the interface that we get from the Nginx proxy manager after we install it. Before I take you through the process of installing Nginx Proxy Manager, there are two important concepts that you need to understand. The first one is Docker file and the next one is the Docker Compose. We are going to look at what a Docker Compose looks like, but because we are installing WordPress and MySQL images, we are not going to use Docker file. Docker file is the script that you use to create Docker images. But in this case, WordPress already exists. So we don't need to create our own WordPress version. But if in case you are creating an application from scratch, maybe a HTML website, a React website, a Vue.js website, an Angular website, a Python website, that is when you need the Docker file so that you can convert the final product to an image that can be put into a Docker container. A Docker Compose file is a file that helps put together the resources that are needed in a container. There is a structure that it takes where you give the, the image that is going to be used, you give the networks and many other features that we are going to see in a few minutes. After we install Nginx Proxy Manager, we'll also install another container that is going to help us manage all these resources that we are installing in this session. By the end of this session, you're not going to need to use the CLI or the command line interface anymore. We are going to be managing all these resources using an online platform. So it's going to be very interesting at the end. Nginx Proxy Manager helps you to expose your Docker containers to the outside world using uh, the web browser. It's a very simple process, so we go to, we're going to go to get started and then you can scroll to quick setup here. But before we come to this, we can come to our server. We open a terminal. To install Nginx Proxy Manager, we need to create some directories where we are going to put the files. So we are going to create a directory called Docker and inside that directory, we are going to create another directory that we are going to call Nginx Proxy Manager. I'm going to clear our CD. We go to home, ls, there's nothing there. So we can do mkdar to create a directory that we are going to call docker, ls. We have created docker. Then we can do cd docker. Here, we are going to create an Nginx proxy manager. So mkdar. Engine X proxy manager then CD engine X proxy manager. Let me clear. There's nothing here as you can see, but we can put our file here, our Docker Compose file. So uh, the Docker Compose file, uh, before we go into the details of creating uh, this, the Docker Compose 
installs images in the docker container so you can put different images in different docker containers using the docker compose command while the docker file is just going to help you to create one image image by one with its dependencies uh, we are in the nginx proxy manager and we are going to to say nano docker hyphen compose dot yml the command opens docker hyphen compose dot yaml file where we are going to put the instructions uh, for creating the docker containers nano is a text editor that is integrated with most linux distributions it helps you to create edit and save files because most of the time you don't have an interface where you can copy and paste files in a linux system ideally we would want to use the code that is given the instructions that are given on nginx proxy manager uh, that is this but it lacks some important uh, details that we will need to make sure that our containers are stable. So I've modified this code. There's a link in the description section of this video. Just go to where I have put the YAML file, copy and paste it in your Docker Compose file using the nano command as uh, I have shown you. you. You need to paste the code here and after pasting, press ctrl d on your keyboard then enter then ctrl x to get to this uh, section then i can clear then if you type cat docker hyphen compose dot yaml you will see that the code is now uh, saved in the docker.yaml file. All you need to do is docker-compose, then up, then hyphen D to say that you want to run this in detached mode. Give it some time to do its thing. All good. Give it a few minutes and this should be done. An application has several dependencies uh, it needs for it to run and that is exactly what uh, this particular application is doing it's downloading the application that and the dependencies that are needed uh, for this when we created this container we gave it port 8080 which is the basic internet port this is port 80 for http for 43 for https and port 81 is the one that you're going to be using to access the container so if you copy our ip here then put it in a browser and use port 81 we would expect it to open in the next proxy manager and if you come here uh, down here the default username is admin and the password is change me change me sign in uh, it's going to ask you to change immediately you can put your name your email like that and then you save then the password this is the password change me it's the first password you put here which is the current password then we create a new password so these two have to be the same this one is the old password let's see whether we have done it right so this is the dashboard we are going to create our hosts here so we just come to host proxy hosts then we add a host that is a host is a container so you're going to be adding a container there uh, you can put access list uh, we are going to create SSL certificates for our domains so we are just going to come here and uh, create that uh, but for now let's just leave it as it is uh, we are going to be mostly be using the hosts 
and the certificates i will stop this video here let's catch up in the next video where we are going to now start configuring uh, nginx proxy manager but before then we are going to install one more tool for this particular uh, application thank you for watching the video i hope it was informative to you let's catch up in the next video if you are new to the channel remember to subscribe and also remember to activate the notification button